right, let's get started with the Paragon 4, Rolling Thunder, Added Capacitance, EMD, NW2, SW7, Switchers, and HO. And these were built from 1939 to 1951. And I think there were over 1,600 of them built. Many, many railroads had them. And here's an interesting story. NW stood for 900 horsepower, but that was the NW1. The NW2 had 1,000 horsepower, and the W standed for welded chassis. So then comes along the SW7, this is later on, and the S and the W simply mean switcher. The NW2s and SW7s feature rolling thunder, they're dual mode, they have precision drive mechanisms engineered for heavy towing and smooth, slow speed operation, a can motor with skew wound armature, all wheel electrical pickup, ABS plastic body with die cast chassis, premium caliber painting, many separate applied details such as handrails, grab rails, cab glass, smokestacks, bell and more. Factory installed engineer figure, prototypical light operation, prototypically accurate sounds, 16 paint schemes including two unpainted, will operate on code 70, 83 and 100 rail, minimum operating radius 18 inches, these are at your dealers now. Okay, you know how a lot of the new cars have, have settings in, into them like uh, economy or sports car or highway? And what that does is it just changes software, software settings. Well, we do kind of the same thing with the switchers. We have um, what we call switcher mode. And here's more information about that. So typically models will have momentum built in right out of the box. Uh, those. CVs related to momentum are acceleration delay and deceleration delay, CV3 and CV4 respectively. But that's not always wanted, especially when you are doing yard operations and, and switching in the yard. So an example of uh, with momentum on, you can see I'm trying to come to a stop here. My throttle's at zero and I'm still pushing the cars around. So, if I reset this, what we've got for you is switcher mode. So I'm going to set 128 equal to three, and that's gonna put us in switcher mode where I can throttle up, and I can come down and stop on a dime. Change directions. Roll out nice and slow at speed step one. And that's switcher mode. And if you want to get out of it, you'll set 128 equals four. So switcher mode doesn't only change CVs three and CVs four. Those are primarily the NMRA standards for momentum. But there are also other things involved like back EMF with CV10. Um, CV120 is our speed step smoothing CV. Uh, CV245 is a general systems control. And so essentially what you're doing when you enter switcher mode is you're setting all of those CVs with one setting. And so that's why it's advantageous to just get in and out of switcher mode as needed. 
we gear our switchers very low. And just like real switchers, they're more interested in torque than speed. So our locomotives don't go real fast, but they're switchers, and switchers didn't go real fast. Thank <music> you.